Hello, Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to discuss wave picking. It's a advanced method of picking uh, orders using the Finale Data Collector and the mobile barcode scanner. So you can actually make one trip through the warehouse and pick and pack multiple orders all at the same time. So to give you a little bit more insight, uh, we'll define wave picking. You know, where do we come up with that term? Well, it's it's using one trip or a wave through the warehouse to achieve complete order fulfillment of multiple orders all at the same time. So you'll see this is kind of a, an example of the new wave pick screen. We'll go into that a little bit more detail too. So to kind of give you a better visual, imagine you making a uh, or utilizing a mobile cart. So you'll see two pictures here of two different carts maybe that you're going to use to possibly go through your warehouse to pick multiple orders at the same time. So we're going to introduce a concept in wave picking called a slot. Now we define a slot as a box, a bin, or a container on a mobile cart that you will use to sort and organize separate orders for picking and packing multiple orders at the same time on the same mobile cart. So as you see there on the right picture, that's kind of be kind of our, our example where we've got some plastic bins and we're going to be placing the pick tickets inside of those bins. And you see that each bin has a slot number. So I have a slot one and a slot two. I even have two more slots on this cart. So um, that's the way we're going to look at it. But, you know, the picture on the, on the left here is kind of maybe more of a real world example where you might have a bigger cart with more bins on it that you can actually pick even more orders. So in the example we're going to go over, we're going to do four orders. But as you see, that, that cart in the background can handle a lot more than four orders. And so can our wave picking software. So let's jump on over to Finale and let's take a look, closer look. So we're going to set this uh, story up here. We're in Finale here. And we've got four example orders that we've entered into the system. So if I go to my sales, I've got these EXP 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these came over to us from um, ShipStation. So if I was to go look at the inventory that we're going to be working with, I'll jump over to my stock screen. You'll see that we've got some blank PVC cards. So I'm going to kind of maybe give you an example when I say PVC card. It's just blank credit card stock that we're going to be using. So this is what we're going after on the orders. We're going to be picking these from the bins you see there in the background. So let's take a look at the orders over in ShipStation. So if I bring up ShipStation, we'll see that these orders actually originated here. So here they are, EXP uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and your normal procedure, if you wanted to pick an order, is you, you, know, you select multiple orders. So I may select all of these orders here in ShipStation. Now you can imagine you could have 30, 50, 100, doesn't matter. But if I select multiple orders, I can then utilize the print. And I can say print packing slips. And I can also print a consolidated pick list. And that's going to be really the example. So our barcode scanner is really going to achieve this consolidated pick list. So let's look at maybe the packing slip. So if you printed your packing slips in ShipStation, you'd see, hey, I got a packing slip for this EXP order number one, and another one for two, and another one for three, and so on. And then you can see there's some, com there's some common items on each of these orders. So we got like red stock there, and black, and yellow, and gold, and then we have Oh, we have black again on this one, and we also have red on this one, and a yellow. So you can kind of see, man, if we were to make an efficient trip through that warehouse, we could use Wave. And if that barcode scanner could guide us in the most efficient fashion to go through that warehouse, and I could pick everything for all these orders and pack it all at one time. That's the goal of wave picking. So, and of course, here's an example. So if we consolidated the actual pick part, of this, then it would say, hey, you need to get three of these, two of these, two of these, and one of these. But you'd also need to distribute those correctly across the individual orders. That's what our wave picking barcode scanner is going to do for you. So let's go take a look at this in even more detail. So let's bring this back into, into reality. I'm going to try and set my screen up here for you. Okay, pulling up my barcode scanner here. Now I'll give you a look at the scanner and we'll go through this procedure. So first, first thing we're going to do is take our packing slips and get them ready. So it doesn't matter what order they're in, but uh, on the scanner we would select pick 
then we're going to choose wave. And the first thing a scanner is going to do is scan us to ask us to scan an order ID and a slot name. So you would take a packing slip like this and you would take the scanner and scan the order ID and then it asks you to scan a slot name. So I'm going to put it in this slot right here which is slot number one and I'm going to scan that slot and then we just go to the next one. Now we can continue to just do it that way. Now some other ways that some people like to do it is just to put the order in the bin itself. So I'm going to go ahead and put the orders in the bin like that and if I put them all in the bins then all I got to do is go back and scan an order ID. So if I grab an order ID and then I scan a slot and then I scan another order ID and then another slot another order ID and another slot. So now I've got four orders loaded up and so if you look on the screen there we can see um, that we've got four orders scanned right here. So the next thing you do, if that's all you're going to do, is you're ready to start that wave. You choose the menu button and then start picking. So the first thing it's going to do is tell us to go in the warehouse and we're going to be following there. Um, as you see, we're going to be looking at um, finding A04. So it's telling us to go to A04 in the warehouse, which is where we're going to find the uh, yellow um, blank PVC card. So this is my warehouse in the back here. So imagine these are different locations in the warehouse. So A04 is this one right here. So all I need to do is scan the location. And now it tells us to get one of the yellow cards. So I'm going to reach in here, grab a yellow card. So we'll put this and now notice the screen says slot three. So it's telling us where to put it too. So I'm going to scan the yellow item and then it tells us, hey, confirm that you're going to put that into slot three, which is the order that we're actually ending up picking this item for. So if I do that, I put it in that bin and I also scan the slot. So I'm going to scan that slot to confirm it. So then it tells us, hey, yellow again, we need one of them. But this time, look at the top of the screen. It's actually showing us slot four. So we're going to pick another one from the same location. So if I grab that one out of the bin, we're going to scan it. And it tells us, hey, put it in slot four. So I'm going to confirm that I put it in slot four. Now it tells us go to A7. So I would go to A7 in the warehouse. And it tells us you need to get one of the red. So I'll reach in here and get one from the red. And as I scan that, I know it's going in slot one because it tells me at the top of the screen, I'm going to put it in slot one. Now also notice that the screen is telling us a lot of information at the same time. So it tells us to confirm that in slot, lot one, slot one. It also tells us, hey, that uh, there should only be one left in that location and that the next pick is for the same item. So the user will get used to these prompts and you know, it's telling him exactly what needs to be done. So I'm going to scan uh, slot one to confirm that I put it in there. But what if I accidentally scan the wrong one? What does it do? Gives you a warning sound and it tells you, hey, you didn't do what you're supposed to do. I said, oh yeah, I'm, I scanned the wrong slot. So let me make sure. So I need to get another one. So I'm going to reach into A7 and get another red one. And scan it. And it's going in slot number three. So I put it in slot three and confirm that. Now it tells us to go to A08, the next location. And then it tells us we need one of the golds. So I'm going to grab a gold out of here. And that's going to slot, slot number four. And I need to go to A9. And then I need to get a black one. So I'll reach in here and grab a black and put it in slot one. And confirm slot one. And this time we need to get two of them. And it's going in slot two. So I'm going to reach in here and get two more blacks. And 
And notice that it says keep going because there's supposed to be two. So telling us we need to get one more. So I can scan it again. Put it in slot two. Confirm that. And it says all orders are done. So we just completed one trip to the warehouse. And you remember it started with like location number four and then it went to seven, then eight, then nine. So it went in order and we picked all the items on all four orders and it guided us through the, the whole thing. And it also gave us confirmations of stock levels left and it confirmed and we had to confirm which bin we actually put it in to make sure it was packed correctly. And that's it. That's all you do. So if I say complete here, we just completed that whole wave. Of course, the next thing you would do would be to connect this back to the uh, your PC and your workstation. So I'm going to go back to home and then we're going to hit barcode scanning. Connect. Connect to the scanner. There's all our orders. We have the four orders being picked. We're going to upload that to the cloud. And we just now completed picking those orders. So if I go back, you'll see they've all been packed. And that's an example on how to use wave picking with the Finale Data Collector and our mobile scanner.